All right, welcome back to the channel. This week I've been driving the 2023 Hyundai Ioniq 6. Let's take a look at this thing. So I've been driving the long range all wheel drive version and let's take a look starting off with the front with these nice daytime running LEDs that are actually orange, but the camera doesn't really pick it up too well. It's kind of flashing on and off as you can see there. And then if I move back, the front end just grabs your attention. In fact, the whole car grabs your attention. You can see that these bottom flaps here are open. That's because the car is on and it's trying to cool its battery, which is really cool. It can also shut them when it needs to you know, keep heat in the battery, whatever it needs to do. We also have a front facing camera. Overall, just a super, super nice looking front end. So now let's move on to the side of the Ionic 6 and it's just as polarizing as the front. Everybody stops and looks at this thing from the side, from the front, from the back, no matter where. You get a good shot here as well of, as of those 20 inch rims that are very nice. A little bit less efficient. You get about 435 kilometers with these rims instead of the 500, just over 500 that you would get if you had the 18 inches, but not a huge deal at all. You can see here that we have these door knobs or these door handles that will present themselves to you when the car is locked, it'll be flush into the vehicle like that. And also when you're driving, it'll be flush, but they present themselves to you so you can open them nice and easy. And I love that. Nice little pixelated dots here on the mirror, as well as a camera for the 360 degree camera inside here. Also on the side, we have our charge port. It actually is motorized, so it opens up normal charge port here and then you have your little unplug thing here for the dc fast charging which is absolutely great and then i can close it just like that so let's take a look at the battery for the 2023 hyundai ionic 6. it is a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery and since we have dual motors it can do 320 horsepower 446 pound feet of torque hyundai also says it'll do zero to 100 kilometers in around 5.4 seconds it feels way shorter than that it's like a tunnel and you're going like 140 it's absolutely insane but i love it we also do have a front trunk it's basically not even worth mentioning though because it's so small you can basically fit like keys or some papers or maybe a wallet in there but that's about where that stops so let's look at the charge times for the hyundai ionic 6 if you have a level two charger, so that's your basic home charger, you're looking at a charge time of six hours and 55 minutes, which isn't too bad. Then level three with a 50 kilowatt hour output, you're looking at about seven, three minutes, 73 minutes for a full charge. Then level three charger with a 350 kilowatt hour output, you're looking at only 18 minutes for a full charge, which is absolutely great. All right, last but absolutely not least, we're taking a look at probably the most eye-grabbing part of the Ionic 6. I mean, it's all eye-grabbing, but this is the people, this is the one that people look at the most, the back of the Hyundai Ionic 6. You can see we have this headlight, these tail lights, sorry, these tail light strips that go all the way back, all the way along the vehicle where you have that nice Ionic 6 badging as well. It goes all the way along at night. This front bumper right here will light up as well and it's pixelated as well. On the bottom, we have some pixels too. Then we have a rear view camera, which is super nice. A bunch of sensors for a 360 degree camera. And this is standard on all features. I can open up the trunk with one touch on all trims. That happens. So very nice. Nice little bit of trunk space. You can see I have my normal wall outlet charger. That takes like 44 hours to, to charge to full. So I wouldn't recommend using it unless you really need it. A little bit of storage here underneath the floor as well. You pull those seats down, you'll have a whole bunch of room. There is obviously less room than the Ionic 5, but this is a sedan, not an SUV. So, but still for an EV, for something that does what this does, excellent space and i love the fact that it's automatic they didn't have to include it but they did and i love it okay so as usual starting off first with the rear of the ionic 6 look at these wonderful door handles pop out for you just give that a pull and then you're greeted by all this space check out that crazy looking interior it just looks unique on the outside unique on the inside too so let me hop in and show you what we're working with here very, very, a little bit of a lower ride, but not as low as something like a Model 3 would be. This is a, sits a little bit higher. I have just enough headroom just on the swoop back here. Just, just enough. My hair is kind of touching it. I'm 5'11". My hair is kind of touching this part right here. So if you are a little bit taller, the back seat might not be the most comfortable place. But in terms of leg room, you have a whole bunch. I can, there's no center stack since there's no transmission, right? So I can spread my legs out here to the corner here. I can also just change seats with such ease. Like, look at this. And I'm in the other seat already. And there's just, I could just slide around and kids could probably literally just walk straight standing up there. It's really, really great. The one thing that I wish we had is a nice panoramic sunroof or a big piece of glass that came all the way back. I know it would 
maybe higher the cost a little bit. And so for that reason, I'm okay with not having it. But you do get a little bit of a view of that sunroof right up there as well, which isn't too, too bad. And then also down lower, we have some nice vents. There's no HVAC controls back here, but you don't need it. I feel the airflow very nicely back here. And then also we have two USBs, just a little bit of storage there. And then of course, we have a little place where the cup holders can rest and it could be used as an armrest as well and then we can give you a good shot of this nice ambient lighting you can actually choose the color you can have the car do it for you you can have it speed adjusted you can see there's a little bit of red and a little bit of blue it looks incredible at night and i should have a couple shots of that as well we also have some heated seats two levels of it in fact and the door controls are right here on the side you'll notice that in the front they are on the column but here nice heated seats for the rear all included we love high end days price point we know they were going to do that and i absolutely love that they've done it so wonderful job there and with all that being said let me hop up into the front seat and let's check that out because boy is it good Okay, now let's hop into the front. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to want to miss this. This is the front seat of the Ionic 6. Look at this massive, massive door with a massive Bose speaker. And then you can kind of get a shot too of the ambient lighting. You'll see it again more at night. I'll include some shots for you. But you can see we have two memory seats right there. But let me hop in and let me show you. This is my favorite place to spend time. This is one of my favorite cars that I've ever, ever driven. And I'm going to show you why. And it's just like, look at this. We're just greeted by just wonderful, this wonderful Morse code for the letter h which is just so unique and so awesome the steering wheel is one of the best i felt from hyundai lots of physical controls a little bit of piano black but i don't care in this case because it is just so good you have this rolly thing for your volume the switches in here do feel nice quality for the sixty-four thousand dollars that you're going to pay for this the, the switches and stuff do feel very good i do like it the drive mode selector is here you press and it'll switch through your drive modes and you'll see my range jumping around there too when i do that over on the left hand side i have the parking brake control the lighting control i can open and close my charger because it is my charge port because it is powered in the back i can also open and close the trunk because it is powered. traction control off i don't think i'm going to do that and then your mirror controls are also right there moving right on over to that nice 12.2 inch gauge cluster display all digital of course and you have a little bit of information trip info different stuff like that you can have your directions and then you can have tire pressure and where the power is going very nice and then i'll show you again when you switch through the drive modes it does change you can have see i set mine to, to be black but you can set it to be white in the daytime black at nighttime but i just like the black look so i put it there then over on to our second 12.2 inch infotainment display which is very big very very nice if you've seen high-end air kia infotainment you're going to be very familiar the only added thing is this has an ev section where you can find your chargers pre-charge precondition the battery this does have battery preconditioning with it so once you navigate to the dc charger it will kick in it will start to precondition the battery you will notice your range go down a little bit but that preconditioning is going to be so important in the winter and just in general charging speeds you really want to have that and you want to make sure you, you do that first then we can access our climate control here's the thing that's weird is a lot of the climate controls are actually here we have some quick selection things down here it's a like it's not it's it's like touch buttons it's not even haptics which isn't great but um again don't care because i'm not really paying attention to climate i'm just paying attention to how much fun this car is to drive and use and overall i don't really mind this duality of having to go back and forth in between these things and you you have a bunch of quick options too you can even set a quick option if you want to go to your your front warmer this does have a front seat heating and ventilated heating as well as well as a heated steering wheel button right there you can also control the rear climate as well or the, at least the seats anyways you can control that because of the climate's all controlled from up here which is great we have built-in navigation also very nice it's going to show you all the stuff around me which is wonderful phone projection which is wireless out no sorry it's not even wireless apple carplay or wireless android auto wireless carplay wireless android auto uh, but i usually plug myself in so for me it's not really a downside i don't actually care we have a button down here too for our parking press that once close this menu and then we have a very very high quality camera as well as these really nice ones where you can take a tour all the way around the car which is nice i have used it in parking and it has come in handy what else do we got here you got a valet mode quiet mode if you have kids in the car it'll play the speakers on the front then we have setup this is something i want to show you in the setup for the vehicle we can go into drive mode and i can have a custom drive mode i can have so i can tell it okay my drive mode this is what it is and i can tell it to always drive an all-wheel all the time 
or use automatic, which I have it now, or only use rear wheel drive. It might help your range a little bit, but I just keep it in automatic because it does it. But it's nice to know that you have that option. Just because you have the four wheel drive model doesn't mean you have to always be in four wheel drive at all. And you also have a snow mode, which is going to be excellent for us here in Canada. Very, very great. So a little bit closer to the steering wheel, just underneath it, you have this solid column with this little gear shifter that that's how you're going to change gear. It's the same in the Ionic 5, and then you press right over here for your park, but it's the same in the Ionic 5, Ionic 6, same thing. Very nice, very, this switch feels high quality. I do like the way it feels in shifting. It's very, very easy, very easy to get used to as well. Then you have your EV start stop button. This is all, like I said, your all your climate controls are here. Dual zone automatic climate control, of course. Turn your parking sensors off. We have map buttons. There's a lot of quick access buttons, which I like and are important. If I click this climate button, it will bring me right there. If I click the temperature button, it will bring me to the seating option. So it's very easy to go back and forth. I like that Hyundai have done that. Then if we look, go lower where you have all these little pixels and stuff, you have this like sticky thing, almost like rubbery thing for your wireless charger. And when it is charging the phone, these little pixels here will light up, which is very, very cool. Then you have your one wireless, one USB port, not wireless, a little bit of storage here underneath, nice cup holders. And then here is your window controls as well as your lock and unlock. It's, it's interesting, and your auto brake hold. It's interesting, it, it's not a Ford Bronco. The doors don't come off. We did see that on the Ford Bronco though. The doors don't come off in this one, although that would be absolutely insane. They don't, but it's still, it's, this has taken a little bit used to get used to this because you're so used to having your window controls on your door. I've driven like 20 cars this year and it's always been on the door except for the Bronco and now the Ionic 6 has it. But again, completely fine once you get used to it. Once you own this car and you get used to it, it's not gonna be a big deal. We have a little bit of storage right in here and then I like this storage thing here which lifts up and it locks at any position. It's not gonna flop around when you move in, it just locks at any position and you have a little bit of storage in there as well, which I do like, and some USB-C chargers. So if you want USB-C chargers, they're right in there for you. And then also another interesting feature, when I do trade, change the drive mode, it will switch to different lights. So red for sport mode, green for eco, and just gray for normal. Really, really cool. So yeah, overall, I really just love the interior. It's very simplistic, very clean, very sterile, I wanna say, but I just love the look at it, of it. It's so unique besides looking at the Ionic 5, of course, but the exterior is unique, the interior is unique. You got this nice red strip. You can see the ambient lighting there, two-tone, again, looks great at night. Ionic 6 on the carpet, it's just overall such, such a great place to spend time. The seats, we will talk about these guys. They're all recycled material, and it's just very nice. Nice big Bose speaker there, nice Bose speaker on the B pillar there. Just the attention to detail that Hyundai has with this car is just so good. And you don't need a lot of details to make people happy. You don't need a lot of details to make me happy in an EV. I am absolutely loving my week so far, but let's take it on the road. Let me show you. Let me show you the true power of the Ionic 6. I'll be right back. Let's do this. Okay, here we are in the best part of the Ionic 6, the driving. The 2023 Hyundai Ionic 6 is just a absolute incredible car to spend time in, to drive in, and also to have a little bit of fun in. So right now I'm in eco mode. I usually drive in eco mode most of the time. You know, you're trying to be efficient, try not to use all the electricity, but I do occasionally. This is normal mode. Immediately the speed picks up, right? Like immediately, I don't even change how my foot is on the is on the throttle, but it just it's just crazy. So like I can do this for you. I can put myself in a sport mode, and again, didn't change the way my foot was, didn't change the way that the accelerator was pressed, and I automatically just start going way way faster. So let me just clear some traffic here for you, and without further ado, I'm gonna slow down just a little bit just before this little sign here and we're gonna rip in the ionic six let's go oh my god oh my god okay okay we're good we're good we're good we're good Woo. oh my god okay i need a second <laughs> it's just so 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 fast like that is just incredible only 320 horsepower only i say only like it's not a big deal but oh my goodness it is just a rocket 300 horsepower to those all-wheel drive wheels and you just feel it in your stomach it's like a roller coaster the second that you take off it does stop kind of giving the the power the torque kind of tops out around 100 kilometers but oh my god i think it's zero to 60 or zero sorry zero to 100 kilometers per hour in about like 4.5 seconds or, or like close to maybe low 4.9 something like that like oh my god it feels like 
I go through a tunnel and then boom, I'm doing 100 kilometers an hour. It is just ridiculous. So naturally, like most EVs, we're sitting kind of on top of a battery. So the handling, as you can see, I'm just ripping through this corner, is so good because the floor is, is so heavy. These cars are so heavy and the center of gravity is so low because the battery, like I said, is you know, on the floor of the car. So I feel like I could just chuck this car in at any point and just give it gas and it just holds and it sticks. The traction control is so good in here. I could, you know, even in normal mode, it's still great. Like sport mode is obviously the where you're gonna get the most feel and feedback from it. But oh my goodness, is this just an incredible feat of engineering. It just looks so good on the outside looks so nice in the interior that regenerative braking it does have eye pedal so if you're familiar with any of the uh hyundai or kia products of the ev type then well you know about eye pedal you know that as soon as i let my foot off the gas it will automatically start to brake for me and put a small amount of that power back into the battery so just helps overall efficiency which is great right now i'm running at about 66 percent battery 291 kilometers on a full charge like i said at the beginning we can do around 435 kilometers which is still very very excellent for what you're getting here all-wheel drive obviously you get a little bit less range so that's a little bit unfortunate but i'll take it because that sport mode is worth all the trouble let me tell you i noticed as soon as you switch from like sport mode to eco again you don't change your your pressure on the accelerator and your speed will automatically drop because you're, it's just such a different mode the car really dials itself back in eco mode but it is such a comfortable drive the drivetrain is so smooth there's no shifting there's no nothing it's just stopping and taking off and stopping and taking off and there's really really no lag at all here throttle response is great we that's just so fun even in eco mode you can have a great time in the ionic 6 most most efficient mode which is really really cool i just love the visibility in here you know i like the ride height i know a lot of people don't like it because they feel like a sedan should be lower but i do like it it's kind of that midway between a sedan and an suv so it's it's just really really excellent such such good quality the steering wheel feels so good in my hands. Everything's at my touch. I can control my regenerative braking with these paddle shifters here. I can turn on or off eye paddle. This Ionic, this electric car can drive just like a normal car. It can creep, it can do all those normal things. You don't have to drive with only one pedal. You can use both if you want them, but using just the one pedal does save you a little bit of the brakes because it's using the engines to brake instead of your actual brakes, which is a huge plus. But if you don't like that, it's still there. So I am seriously considering buying one of these cars. I, I think within the next week, I may or may not be on a waiting list for the Ionic 6. I really want it to be in my drive Driveway. a week just is not enough for me I need more I feel like I, I don't want to stop it's gonna hurt so much to give it back this one is probably going to be the hardest to give back because look we have these nice blind spot detections it's just like the ultimate package combined with the nice styling of this car even if you don't go with the ultimate package you go with the base rear wheel drive you still get this unique design you get this unique shape you get this unique interior features and everything like that i mean hyundai has just knocked it out of the park it just fits my needs so well it's not an suv but it's got so much space as a sedan that it fits my needs for the future and for right now so even if i get this car in say 18 months which is what's looking like is going to be the case i don't care i just want it again and hopefully i can get it again if hyundai uh decides to put me back under the wheel i'd love to do some more in bat depth battery testing when the weather gets a little bit colder i just want to explore every aspect of this vehicle and i think you should too if you have the opportunity to test drive one you'll know exactly what i'm talking about even if you've driven one of those guys the ionic fives you'll know exactly what i'm talking about but just the ionic six just does it so differently there is nothing ladies and gentlemen there is nothing like this car out on the market right now and there's nothing that looks like this there's a lot of evs out of the market which is great but there's nothing that looks like this on the inside or the outside it's just a feat of engineering wow hyundai i i am almost speechless i almost don't know what else to say because i, I you know it's hard to find things that are missing it, it's hard to to complain to find a bad thing about this vehicle i mean sure the range could be better and i think it will be but you get so many standard features in here you know you get so much for what you pay for 
this car is $64,000 fully loaded, complete kit, 64K. You get everything that's taxes included for Quebec and government incentives for Quebec included as well. And you just get so, so much. It's just, wow. You can complain that, yeah, it's missing a big piece of glass on the roof, but if that helps save costs and cut costs down, then I don't care. I don't want that piece of glass because honestly, I'm looking at the road. I'm in the driver's seat. I'm not sitting in the passenger seat or in the back seat. I'm right up here holding this steering wheel all day, every day, and as, for as long as I can and as much as I can because, like I said, I just don't want this car to go away. Just driving by people, probably, maybe this element will go away, but just driving by people, you get so many looks. This car turns heads, grabs your attention, and absolutely keeps the attention. People cannot stop looking at this car. I can't take my eyes off of it. I, would, I could literally just sit in front of this car all day and just look at it, and I'd find new things that I enjoy about it. I mean, I just... I just can't say enough good things. I mean, I still love Tesla. I think I always will have a soft spot for them, but if it's between this and a Tesla, it's this all day. The Ionic 6 has won my heart. It has won my vote for car of the year. Oh my goodness. It has won my vote for the electric car that I want to buy. So with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Let me know if you have any questions. I did spend a week with this and I did spend a lot of time in this Ionic 6 as much as I could. I've literally just been sitting in here just for the sake of sitting in here. So if you have any questions at all, any comments, any opinions, let's talk about it in the comment section. Of course, if you liked, you have to like, and if you made it this far, you must subscribe. So that I know to keep going and to keep giving you these videos like this and let me know what you think do you prefer the Ionic 6 or do you like the Ionic 5 still and are you willing to wait on a waiting list for one of these cars let me know what you think I got a lot of different cars coming up this month so stay tuned to the channel with that being said I will see you in the next one take care my god this is a good car see you later